Hello everybody, Razmin is my name. Welcome back to the Gothic Live Edition Hardcore. So we are going to continue in Corinis where we last time left, where we upgraded or increased our dexterity. We are going to check some NPCs, some quests, and then we will go outside of the city and try to do some to kill some more enemies and earn more experience. We have the first quest with Krita. Oh, there are things. Those things are expensive. Can we take them? Yep, we can. Nobody minds. Very nice. We are going to need them for the for the crafting and stuff. Oh, more experience. So we are going to pay it for Greta because she's going to give us experience. What do you want, stranger? If you come to beg, I must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. My name is Greta. Ever since my husband died, I have been running the household for my uncle Thorobin. Yep, poor you, but you look so fancy now. Mateo sent me. You still owe him some gold. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you. Back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Your poor husband. Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow. You look fancy to not have gold. So we can beat her, take her money or pay for her. I prefer to pay her. She's going to give us extra experience. And I believe in the second chapter or later on, she's going to offer us something. So I'm going to pay the sum for you. You would do that for me? Oh, I knew you weren't a greedy bastard like that Mateo. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Come back once you've taken care of that. I want to show you my gratitude. Oh, how are you going to do that? So there is a little bug. If we talk to her after we give the money to Mateo, she's not going to talk to us until second or third chapter and we are going to learn to pickpocket. So we will not talk to her after we talk with Mateo. We will just wait until we can pickpocket. And we can tell him also hey. that about her niece. I've come about Gritta. My niece? What's your business with her? This isn't about money, is it? She owes 100 gold pieces to the merchant Matteo. Tell me this isn't true. Ever since that little piece of work moved in with me, I've had nothing but trouble. She's in debt with practically every single merchant in town. I had to borrow 200 gold pieces from Lamar, the moneylender, just to settle her debts. That's a good and line now to remember this. for later on. Gritta should be in the house. Go ahead, ask her. But I tell you this, she doesn't have a single gold piece. We shall see. There's nothing you can do about it. We can beat her later on anyway, anyway if we are going to kill everyone in the Quirinus, but I don't know if we should do that. So, let's see. I don't know how he knows that this is our, our money, not hers. Here's Weird. your 100 gold pieces. You want to pay for her? <laughs> I'd have preferred it if you'd squeezed it out of her. Still, a 100 gold pieces is a 100 gold pieces. You've held up your part of the deal. Very true. So, can Show we buy arrows wares. from you? Not what I heard. Oh, we do. Somehow we could buy all of them. They are so expensive. We need to get more money. But we need some arrows. At least some arrows. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. Don't worry. I'll keep my part of the bargain. The other masters will only hear the best about you from me. Very nice. Do we still have money? Yeah, we still have some money. But not a lot of money. So we finish one quest for the masters. Don't tell me you didn't know that. How many skins do we have? You knew that would be a problem. Six, exactly six. I agree with you completely. Can Bartok still hunt with us if we are going to but he knew that all along. give him the pelts? It's not what I heard. I think well we will wait. Nobody ever asked for money. What we want to do, because we are going to go outside anyway of the city with Bartok, we are going to tell Batras and get his blessings also. Cardenas be with you. Who are you? 
I am Vatris, a servant of Adonis, the guardian of the divine and earthly equilibrium. What can I do for you? Well, we got a letter. If we don't read the letter, we get extra rewards. If we read it, he's going to give us less experience. Here, I've got a letter for you. For me? It's a sealed message. We didn't read it. Indeed. This is an important message you are bringing me. I wonder how you got hold of this letter. Well, we stole it, and we have to tell him the truth. I got it from Cavalorn, the hunter. Cavalorn? Where is he? He told me to tell you he couldn't make it and is headed for the meeting point. Whatever he meant by that. I see that you have gained Cavalorn's trust. That speaks in your favor. So we do know about the Ring of Water now. Tell me about the Ring of Water. And why would I do that? Cavalorn sent me to you. And what did he tell you? He said you're in dire need of more good people. He didn't say that, you little uh -huh. liar. So you want to join us, son? I want to join the Ring of Water. You do? Well, that means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean there must be someone among us who trusts you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing about you at all. What do you want to know? Well, you could tell me where you come from and why you have come to the city. I carry an important message for the leader of the paladins. What is this message? So we have, we have to tell him the truth, otherwise we are going to keep looping about it. A large army is gathering as we talk, led by dragons and determined to conquer the country. Dragons? You speak of beings which until now have only been mentioned in legends. How do you know this? So Sardas told us not to tell anyone, but we have to tell. So. It's a weird line. Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the paladins. The necromancer. So he lives. And he sent you. Who are you, really? We cannot tell anyone who we are. I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Carinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas, the necromancer, that dragons have come to conquer the country. And you have come to report this to the Paladins. That all sounds rather fantastic, but I cannot perceive that you are lying to me. Therefore, I must assume that your motives are honorable. I want to give you a chance to join the Ring of Water. Well, tell me what... Uh, tell us about the Ring of Water. Does tell me about bring the anything? Ring of Water. Or is it just some generic Since lines? you are not yet a member of our community, I cannot tell you everything, of course. But I shall tell you what I may. Yeah, those are generic lines. What must I do in order to join the Ring? Know that you take on great responsibility by joining the Ring. I do not let just anyone join who comes to us and asks. If you want to join the ring, you will have to prove that you act like one of us. And that means... Before we let a young man join our ranks, he must have done a great deed for the ring. Only then can I begin to consider letting you help preserve the balance of forces on this island. Yeah, so you want me to do everything for you guys. Yep, we did vanish. I have vanquished the sleeper. Isn't that a great enough deed? My ears hear many a tale these days, including the story about the banning of the beast called the Sleeper. He was a demon, I not a beast. I have not heard that this was achieved by a single man, although your eyes tell me that you are convinced you did this. That confuses me slightly, but I cannot be sure that my senses might not deceive me sometimes. Yeah. We are not going to tell so you anything. what would be an appropriate deed that might convince you? Corinus is facing a great enigma these days. The number of people missing from the town seems to increase almost daily. If you can explain to me what happened to them, you shall have your place within the Ring of Water. However... Yes? 
You should take your message to the Paladins first. I consider it a matter of utmost importance. Talk to Lord Hagen. They don't want to let me. But Lord Hagen is not going to receive me. Yes, he will. No doubt about it. Provided you become a member of a powerful community first. The Ring has far-reaching connections. We shall assist you in conveying your message as soon as possible. You should talk about this to Laris, whom I trust. He will help you. So because of that, what line, community should I join? There are only three Lara, communities that have enough influence. These are the city militia, the monastery of the fire magicians, and the troop of mercenaries on the landowner's farm. The choice is yours, son. Laris can certainly assist you with this difficult decision. Talk to him about it. I shall do that. So about this quest, the best thing is to take the mission for the militia. It doesn't matter if you don't want to join them. Because the one for the magicians if is cheaper if you want to join the magicians. Actually, that's good. But if you want to join the mercenary, you are always going to get that quest from Kord, no matter what. I've got this stone tablet. Can you tell me more about it? Those are artifacts from the old culture, which we have been investigating for some time. There are several kinds of them. Some contain information about the history of the ancient people, and that is the kind I am interested in. Bring me all of those that you can find. I shall give you an appropriate reward. Did we... Wait! If you see Laris, oh. give him this ornament, and tell him that it needs to be returned. He'll know what to do with it. So, what did we give him? No, we didn't give him the old stone tablet. We have to save them and give them all 25, I believe there are. Then we get increased mana. Or oh, even through as a mercenary, it's not important. I'm asking your blessing. Why should I give you my blessing, stranger? I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the masters in the lower part of town. Go with the blessing of Adonos, my son. If we didn't tell him the truth in the beginning, we would have to tell him now. Why would we want the blessing from him? He cannot heal us anymore? Can you teach me something about magic? Only the Chosen of Innos and the Chosen of Adonos are permitted to work wound magic. But common mortals can also work magic with the help of spell scrolls. I can show you how you can channel and expand your magic powers. Mm, yep, he cannot heal us anymore. Then we need to get uh, the blessing from Theron. There is a trick that you can leave the inventory, the money from the inventory, and then... You're running around like a digger! First I am a put digger. something on! And if we, if we have some no money, then he's going to give us some money, but we lose something, I believe, some of the bonus that he offers us. So we are going to give him what 50 gold for the What can I do for, for blessing. you? Are you seeking spiritual comfort? Do you want to direct a prayer to our Lord Enos? Or donate some gold for his church? Everything for Enos. I've come to get your blessing. That's good. That's good. It's getting then dark you already. Will probably want to donate gold to the Holy Church of Enos, won't you? Actually, I wanted your blessing so I can sign on as an apprentice in the lower part of town. But my son, without a modest donation to the church, it is impossible for me to bless you. How else can I be certain of your good intentions toward the Holy Church of Enos? You cannot. So, how much does a donation usually run to here? Well, that depends on what percentage you want to give, son. <laughs> Let me see how much you brought. Hmm. Hmm. You have more than a hundred gold pieces. The Lord says give if you have. The church accepts your generous donation. I bless you in the name of Inos, for he is light and righteousness. Thank you very much for blessing me. 
So, okay, we can talk with Zuris. Uh, I'm Zurus, master of potions. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've come to the right place. He can tell us where the Constantinople gets the Do you brew your own potions? No, I either get them from the monastery or I buy them from Constantino, the alchemist. If you're interested in brewing potions, then talk to him. He needs an assistant, but he's too pig-headed to hire someone himself. He's just as stubborn as a mule. He always passes me when he goes out on the east gate to collect plants for his potions. Where exactly does Constantino gather his herbs? He always goes through the eastern city gate here and then disappears into the wilderness to the left. He once told me that just about everything grows there, except for King Sorrel. Has Constantino ever told you where to find King Sorrel? I once heard him say that the stuff grows near stone circles, near Lobart's farm. That's a farm near the other gate. There's one of those stone circles. I think it's on a hill. It used to be a grave or something. And that's how we get the Show me your King Sorrel spawn. We don't need anything from him now. And we are not going to sell him anything. So we are going to activate some quests. Hey, you! Greg? He doesn't tell us anything. Here we have to be careful with Hakon. If we tell him we don't want to kill the bandits for... Uh, what's his name? The blacksmith, then... I am Hakon. The he's not going to give dealer. us money. Every man should carry a weapon these days. Especially when venturing outside of the city walls. What do you know about the disappearances the of the citizens the of Corinus? I have seen many pass through the eastern city gate. Some of those who came, I had never seen before in my life. And many of those who went out never came back. But what happened the other day was really quite strange. There was this fellow who came here. I think his name is Joe. He bragged that he would soon come into some serious money. He claimed that he knew how to get into one of the city towers where the militia keep their arms. I haven't seen him since, even though I used to bump into him around the same time every day. I reported this to the militia. I thought that maybe he had been caught and thrown into the dungeon, but Lord Andre had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't even know the fella. Well, that's it. Harad is his Harad name. told me about the attack by bandits. Oh, and? He'll give me his approval to be accepted as an apprentice if I hunt down the bandits. <laughs> Good Ooh, old Harrod. They changed the way the quest That must now. be his way of saying he's sorry that he can't produce any weapons for me at the moment. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? They robbed me on my way to the city. And I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down. But without any success. Do you know who in the militia took part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. He and a few others went looking for the bandits. But they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of town. So I believe he's not going to give us Where any money. Where did they hold you up? Near Akil's farm. Just go out of the city gate from here and follow the road to the right. After a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. I bet they have their hideout back there in the woods. I'll deal with it. What? You want to take on the bandits? By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? How much is the matter worth to you? You want to get in Harrod's good books, don't you? I don't think I should have to pay you for this. Yep, that sucks up. We need money, so we are not going to lose the money that easy. Then we will leave those in peace and we are going to go with a bar talk to hunt. Yeah, we are far away from leveling up. We have 15 arrows, but the bar token. You can't even afford any armor. I Sorry don't talk that to I'm weaklings. Poor. What's this? 
Oh, that's where we want it. That's where we want it to come. So let's go hunting with Bartok. How's it going? You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. Can you teach me something about hunting? I can teach you how to sneak properly and how to handle a bow. So the sneak we are going to need because we need money and we cannot sneak into houses. Why don't we go hunting together? Hmm. With two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Bosper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? Yep, it is. Here they are. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Outside the south gate is a wood where we should find more than enough critters. Probably more than we like. Hear ye, inhabitants oh, so of Oh, his name is Blue now, probably because we are following him. That's he's in our party, or we are in his party. We go hunt with him because if we do, we are going to get the the orc weapon, give it to Herod, and then we can take the quest with the bandits. We don't want you to haven't even got the armor. To Beat it. Why do they want me to have an armor? I don't get it. Okay. Oh man, this door. Where is he? Oh, finally, it worked. You're it running worked. around like a digger. First, put something on. I do have something on. I hope he's not going. Why is he doing that? You have a bow. Okay, he's st stronger now. Nothing Hornet. there. They're not blood flies anymore. They're hornets. Oh, and look how close the. What's their name? The snipers are. Oh, it's quite. It's going to get dark, very dark. I'm not sure what. Okay, he's much, much stronger. Another okay. one of those things. One goes here. The one out of here. This is the fourth, fifth, and the sixth. Where is the. Oh, there is a sixth star. So, what do you think? Should we go farther into the woods or not? Well, of course, I can help Let's you, you go can on. see. All right, let's hope this works out. Wait a minute. We didn't get the sixth wolf. We are going to search for it. Once we come back, uh, there used to be a shadow beast. There used to be a shadow beast here. What's that? We are doing the Lambert job. 50 experience. Oh, he's going to die. He cannot drink anything? Where is the shadow beast? Not here anymore, or what? There was a weapon. Wow. Nothing to plunder. He has nothing. 
Where's the Shadow Beast? That's it. I'm going back to the city. It's just too dangerous out here for me, even with two of us. An orc right outside the city. Holy shit. So, see ya. You can sell the skins to Bosper. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we are missing one wolf. Did they remove the shadows from here? That was easy. Did we get a orc weapon? Yeah, we did. So now to find the missing wolf. Hornet, they are different than the bloodflies. Oh, I believe this is it. Yep, finally. So now we can talk with the with the guys. With a lesser, with cavalier, and sardas, get the extra experience stuff. And here I believe we can now kill the wolves. The two wolves that we left. We are going to get from the... What's her name? I forgot again. The, the food. And get the, the plant from up there. The King Sorrel plant that we need. Hilda. Her hey! Name. Can you give me something to eat? You've had your portion for... Oh, we didn't sleep. Can You've had... Okay. And we cannot sleep, sadly. I don't want any trouble. Um, neither do I. So we are going to go up there and get the King Sorrel plant. And then we can go through the valley to Xarda's Tower. And then we walk the other way back. Would be a smarter idea, I believe. So what are we going to do once we we get better at fighting? Probably try to clear some more enemies. And we are going to, to let the people that can guide us to take the monsters for us. Because the arrows are so expensive. Where is it? Healing root. Did they remove the goblin berry from here? Yeah, it looks like they did. And it's so dark we can barely see stuff. Where? King Sorrel, see, that's how we got it. We got it. Only if you talk with Zuris about Constantina, how he is going, how he is getting his plants. Ooh, three plants at once. This force is scary, but luckily it's empty. So can we cook at the fire? Oh, we can cook at the fire. That's very good. Only the frying pan is needed over the stove. Try all meat. Charging, charging. 12 meat. The meat is very, very good. Even worth the 5 LP that we spent on it. So now to go up to Xardas. We get extra experience talking with Dexter. Not Dexter, but Lester. That we enter the city with his way. Then get the experience from Sardas, I believe, for telling him that uh, we sent Lester there. And then on our way back, we are going to get experience from... Where is the goblin from? I thought we killed all the goblins. Got to exit. Okay. It looks like they keep spawning goblins. Uh, we we should have learned to pick pick luck. Damn it! That was a good idea. Would have been a good idea to learn to pick luck it. Because Sardas has two chests, but we can do it later. We still have to come to Sardas anyway. And in Sardas's tower, we can sleep. Oh. Probably down there because up here is Lester going to keep the bed busy. So Lester, you old scoundrel. 
The thing with the plants for Constantino worked like a charm. It got me past the city guards. Just like I said. You should listen to me once in a while, my friend. Totally going to do it, my friend. And Sardas is not here, of course. Also not here. Is he up there? Where could he be? Praying to Belliar? Of course not. Why would he do that? One more health. That's very good. We we can pray to Belliar for gold, but I don't really like to play to pray for gold. I believe we can get a gold or way. Where are you, Sardas? Wow, what are you doing up here, my friend? I've been to town. And? Were you able to talk to the leader of the paladins? Well, they won't let me see him. Nonsense. There must be a way for you to see him. If all else fails, enter the monastery and become a magician. That might be considered morally questionable, but it would get you what you need. If you were a magician, he would certainly have to see you. You, you could just teleport me there. You just got me out of the temple of the sleeper from so far away. So, just Have you talked to there. Lester yet? Yes. I have peppered him with questions. He was able to tell me a lot, but he is completely exhausted. It's almost a miracle that he survived this escape at all. I have sent him to bed for now. What did he tell you? Nothing good, I'm afraid. He has seen not only a dragon, but also men in black, hooded cloaks. And? If these men exist, then their presence will pose a possible threat. And I don't like that. Here, take my ring. It will protect you against magic. So that's very good. 100 experience in the ring magic protection it's not needed we are going to sell it because plus three magic resistance is nothing so it's, it wasn't that worthless we got the king sorrel we got the experience a ring and we are going to go to cavalern and tell him that we went to vatras and talked to the big guy and then i believe we will have to go back to the city do some quests and become a citizen of the of the city we are going to do the quests i mean for the monastery we cannot do anything we cannot join them but we are going to do the mercenary also quests and then we are going to to join oh i mean the militia the mercenary we will have to do because we want to join them usually i like to do all the quests that are possible to be done Full health and the early morning. Well, good morning, everyone. Nice, the doors are still open. We are not going to kill the, the ship. Maybe in the fifth capital. With a fire rain, I don't know. But the ship has to live. We have to protect the ship. Oh, blue elder. Cavalern. I gave Vatras your letter. I didn't expect anything else. Thanks. We did level up. What can you teach us? I want to learn your abilities. Sure. What do you want to know? Bow, sneak. With soft souls, you have a better chance of getting close to your opponents without them noticing. And bow. Because, That's better. Uh, You've forgotten a lot since then, but we'll get it back. Now we have finally 10% of the bow. So I believe we are going. I'm going to make a cut here, going to go to the city, and I'll see you guys in the city. There is nothing on the way to the city anyway. So thank you very much for joining me, and bye bye.